Do you ever create a pull request and a GitHub action fails or you try to deploy and you get an error like this? Well, you can avoid those by having certain pre-hooks on your Git. And that sounds really hard and scary, but in a few commands, you're gonna see how you can get this working. So I tried to deploy my website, and as you can see, I got a lint error when I deployed to Vercel. But I can avoid this. And the annoying thing is, I actually have linter set up on the project. So if I run npm lint, you can see that I get the same error that we saw on Vercel. So I could save that whole pull request build time, GitHub actions, deploy time, and figure out locally. But I forget to run npm run lint before committing and pushing my code. Well, I can use a project called Husky, which I use on all my projects, and I highly recommend you do as well, because you can get it to run any command on commit. So before you do a commit, it will run these commands and it is super, super useful. So let's install it and see. So if I do a git commit now, what will happen is if I just say test and do dot, it's going to ask my password and it's going to do a commit and it's going to be happy. I haven't committed that. I've done um, command C just now. So if I do a git status, you will see that nothing has been committed. So what I want to show you is that before it allows me to do the commit, it will run npm run lint. So therefore I can never make that mistake again. So let's install Husky. So we can do npm install Husky and uh, we're going to save it as a dev dependency as well. So you can do this manually or you can do it via the command line. You can add the Husky uh, install command to uh, the package script section. So we're going to add it via the command line, which I think is pretty cool. So we're going to set it into the script section and we're going to call it the prepare command uh, and it's going to equal Husky install. And so now that's set, we can do npm run prepare, which will run Husky install. So now that's done. The last thing we need to do is add the command that we want. If I do a git commit now, it's not going to make a difference, but we want uh, Husky to add that as a prehook. So what we're going to do is going to do npm Husky, and we're going to add Husky pre-commit hook. There are other hooks you can use as well. And what we're going to add is npm run lint. Okay. We need to add the new Husky file to our project and we need to add that as part of Git. You can see that we have a Husky folder and so we should add that. But one thing I want to show you is now if I do a git commit and again, if I just do a test before it lets me put in my password, because I have GPG keys, it's going to run the lint. So I couldn't even put in my password to make the commit. You can see it's saying that I have a, an error in my linting, so they won't let me commit it. And if I fix that error, you will see that that goes away. So now if I just undo the change that I did, and now if I do the commit again, the exact same commit and hit enter, it's going to ask my password because the linter is going to pass. If I control C that, you can see we had no errors. You can do this for running a test. You can use for so many different things. It is super beneficial. I highly recommend using it in your projects. Let me know in the comments below what you're using Husky for in your projects and what you would like to use it for. I'm super interested. Anyway, if you want to come geek out with me, I'm always in the Eddie Hub Discord. Link in the description below. I'll see you there.